G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're going to be talking about vMix triggers. Triggers allow you to automate your production by performing functions when an input does something. For example, when I transition to this camera right here, it's going to automatically overlay my title, just like this. So stick around and I'll show you how you can set up triggers in vMix. Triggers are really handy for helping you simplify your production. Instead of needing to remember different cues or having to press buttons, you can program your inputs to run the production for you. Usually when we do our monthly live show, it's just me that's doing all of the producing and probably pretty poorly. So we have most of our inputs rigged up to triggers to help make the show run smoothly. We have a number of triggers on our intro video that helps us start the show. When we transition into our introduction video, it starts our show recording, when the video finishes, it transitions to our main camera with me and Martin. It turns on our microphones, and then it's going to overlay our titles as well. So this means that we don't have to worry about any of those things when we start out the show. And it's really handy for someone like me, or perhaps a volunteer that you might have producing the show. Another trigger that we use a lot in our production uh, is something that we set up on our video files. So we set up a trigger to fade back to our main camera when that video file is completed. So that's really handy if you're showing video clips or if you've got intro videos to different segments. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you can set up a trigger in vMix. Now I'm going to create a trigger on a video file down here called Alien Dance Party. Now, first of all, if you wanna set up a trigger, you need to go into the input settings. And the input settings can be found by the little gear icon in the bottom right-hand corner of your input. So if we click on that, then we can go to the triggers section, which is this triggers tab on the left-hand side here, and we just need to click that. Now on this screen here, you'll see any triggers that you currently have set up now, because we don't have any, we don't see any in the top here. And underneath that, you'll see some menus and fields that you can edit. So the first column that you'll see on the left is the trigger column. So this is the event in which the function is going to happen. So let's take a look at the different options from the drop-down menu. So first of all, you'll see on completion. Now this is really handy for things like video files. So when the video completes, you might want it to transition to a camera or to a different shot or do something in the production. Now underneath that, you'll see on transition in and on transition out. So if I fade to a particular input or I cut to an input on that transition, we can do a function and same with the transition out. Then you'll see on overlay in, on overlay out. So if we have an input that we create as an overlay, when that overlay function happens, then we can program it to do something else as well. So underneath that, you'll see some basic audio triggering options. Now these are very basic. We have a lot of people that use vMix as the back end and they integrate this much more in depth with, it, with our API. So this is just a really basic thing where you can set it to go to a certain decibel level and then perform a function. Now underneath that, you'll see on countdown completed. So if you use the countdown timers in vMix, you can set a trigger on those, but I'll go into those a little bit more detail uh, later on. Okay, so for this particular alien dance video, I want things to occur when it transitions in. So what I'm gonna do is select on transition in. So the second column will allow you to assign a function to that trigger. So when the transition in happens, what do we want it to do? So we have hundreds of shortcut functions that are available in vMix that you can use. So you just use this menu here and you can see hundreds of them available. So what I wanna do is set up an overlay. So in overlay channel one, I want to display some confetti over the top of the alien dance party. So I'm then going to select my confetti input here, which is an image sequence of raining confetti. So I can also set a delay on that, but I want that to happen immediately after it transitions. So I'm gonna leave that as zero. And when I'm done, I just need to click add. All right, so I wanna add a second trigger. So you can add multiple triggers onto the one input and you can order them in the order that you want them to happen. So I can also set it on the same trigger here. So I'm going to select on transition in. I want to overlay in channel two, my title. And I also wanna set a delay on that. So for example, I could set this to 2000 milliseconds and then click add. So now I've got two triggers set up. As you can see here, I've got them on transition in. The first one is going to overlay my confetti in channel one. And the second one is going to overlay my title in channel two, and there's going to be a 2000 millisecond delay. Say you wanna edit this, you can click on it. And then what you can do is make adjustments to the trigger. I wanna change this to 1500 milliseconds. Then all you need to do is click the edit button. So you select it, 
make your changes and then click edit if you want to edit one of your triggers. And you can also change the order by using the side here, selecting it and moving it around. So now I've currently got two triggers when this video transitions in. Now I want to set a trigger for when the video finishes as well. So what I'll do is go to on completion, then I'll choose to select a transition effect and let's just go with a fly and I want that to fly back to my main camera and I don't want to have a delay so I'm going to set this to zero. Um, the effect can be 500 because that's a transition effect. I can make this longer or slower if I want to. It's up to you and then I just click add when I am done. So one final thing that I should mention is that the delay on this is a maximum of 30 seconds. So you can't set it higher than 30 seconds. Otherwise people set these delays and they forget about it and it happens later on and they can't work out why something's happening because it was triggered 30 seconds ago. So 30 seconds is the maximum delay that you can put on this. All right, so I've got my two transition in uh, triggers and I've got my one on completion trigger. So once I've finished setting up my triggers, all I need to do is hit the X in the top right hand corner and it will save those. All right, so let's go ahead and transition to the alien dance party and watch the triggers do their thing. So I can do it without hands, so I'll transition this across. And as you can see, the confetti has started falling down and now the alien dance party title has come up as well. And you'll notice that when it finishes, it's going to transition back to this here as we set up. So that's how you can set up triggers on a video file. You can do this for other files as well. And also, you know, cameras and that sort of thing when they're transitioned or when you overlay them, all that kind of stuff. So feel free to play around with those triggers to get it to do what you need it to. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we do have some really basic audio triggers that are available in vMix. So when the audio hits a certain dB level, you can perform a trigger on that. Now, as you can see behind me, I have a, mi a blue Yeti microphone right there. Uh, and that is put in my production here. As you can see, I've got audio microphone and that's actually got a trigger on it already. So if I go in here and I go to the trigger section, you'll see that on audio meter DB12 fade to overhead cam. So that means that once it hits that level, it's going to transfer to this camera that's above me right here. Now, because the microphone is all the way back there, it's not really picking up that decibel level enough as you can see here. But if I did something like this, loud noises, as you can see, it is now transferred to this particular camera. So that's only going to work when it hits that particular decibel level. So as I mentioned, this is a really basic integration for audio levels. A lot of people have used our API to build much more advanced plugins and um, systems around this sort of thing. But you can play around with it, see how you go. Um, it might work for you, or you might be able to build your own little plugin for it to work with vMix. You can also create countdown timer-based triggers for things like stream countdowns. So for at the start of your show, you might have a 30-second countdown. When it gets to zero, then you want it to play your intro video, start your recording, turn on your mics, all that kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you a quick example of that now. So I have a final countdown, as you can see down here. If I go into the settings here, and then I can go to triggers, and then from the drop down menu here, what I want to select is the on countdown completed. Then what I want it to do is go ahead and fade to the alien dance party video. And then I'm just going to click add. So now on the completion of this countdown, it's going to fade to the alien dance party. So let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm just going to overlay this onto my uh, camera here. And then I'm going to go into the title settings and then just start my countdown. Now I set up a five second countdown for this. So I'm going to hit play. So five, four, three, two, one. When it gets to zero, we're now alien dance partying. So every, all our triggers are set up like before with the confetti and everything. So uh, yeah, that's good to go. So that's how you can set up a um, timer for your production if you wanna set up a countdown with a trigger. So that's how you can set that up. Again, we don't have any time-based scheduling in vMix. So if you go into the settings here, you have to use the countdown settings. If you go to the clocks here and go to countdown to time, that's a separate function. So we don't have any triggering based on countdown to time, only based on like 30 seconds or a minute and that sort of thing. It has to be created through this countdown section here. So we just need to quickly talk about how triggers work with multi-view or layered inputs. So the triggers are only going to work on the primary layer that you start adding those 10 layers to. If you add a video file, for example, it has triggers on it as a layer, they're not going to work. So I'll show you quickly what I mean by that. So I have this Hawaii video here. 
For example, if I add the Alien Dance Party, which we know has triggers on it, if we add this to the production, the triggers aren't going to work because it's not the primary layer. So let's just go ahead and transition to this here. As you can see, none of the triggers have happened. If I wanted to have triggers, I would need to actually set it up on this Hawaii video here. So the same sort of thing will happen if you are layering a blank input. So for example, if I go down here and I create a color or a blank input and start layering different layers on top of that, anything that I add to it that has triggers won't work. I'll need to add the triggers to this primary input that I have created for the multi-view or the layers. So triggers work hand in hand with vMix shortcuts. So you can use a key on an X keys, a stream deck or a MIDI or a keyboard in order to switch to a particular input and then those triggers will start playing. So that's really handy if you wanna automate your production even more. And we have plenty of videos on shortcuts and that sort of thing. So for example, when I press this, this shortcut's triggered up to Alien Dance Party. So when I wanna see an Alien Dance Party, I just press the button like so. And then obviously those triggers that are on the Alien Dance Party video are going to play. So if you do have any questions about triggers, feel free to send us an email via the support page on vmix.com and there are other videos as well on how to set up a countdown timer with a trigger. Those sort of videos will be linked in the description also. And I'll link the vmix help guide for triggers in the description. So have a grass day and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vmix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60 day trial. See you later.